Today, we'll be talking about two movies. They'll be in separate videos, though. Is Pig Out Animation Studios finally listening to us? We have been demanding more dark, like, there'll still, still be animated movies for younger audiences, okay? But the fact that every animated movie only appeals towards kids, okay? Yes, I have no problem with a movie appealing towards everybody. But you don't ever have an animated movie that's serious, that has stakes, you know, in, you know, the movies. Okay, that's why I really liked Sony's animations, the Spider-Verse, and, of course, the Mythos was of the Scenes. Because both of those movies, if you look at those movies, those movies are two very similar movies. The Mythos vs. the Machines has, ve you know, very serious stakes, a robot uprising and stuff like that. Yes, the movie has more colorful colors than, of course, you know, white yell, but the movie is definitely far more serious. And, of course, it's a comedy, so it's funnier than Spider-Verse, but it's, in terms of storyline, it's actually more serious than Boss Baby or, you know, most of... The animated movies that have came out over the past couple of years. Okay. And of course we have Spider-Verse. This was a movie that shook up the animated movie community. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse changed animation forever. Yes, you still had your typical Disney Pixar movies. But this was the movie that truly saved the future of animation. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse... Yes, the movie has brighter colors, but also has darker colors. It's a mix of both. And it created this beautiful looking art style. Okay. And Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse still was PG. I still, I think they should make an animated Spider-Man movie that is much like, more like the live action movies. Okay. But the animated Spider-Man movies should not just be, Oh, it's Spider-Man, but for kids. Okay. And even then... The creators of Spider-Man and Spider-Verse tried their hardest to make the movie appeal towards everybody. The, the, both film critics and most, or most of the people can enjoy the movie. And it's basically just like an animated Spider-Man movie. Like we saw in the 90s and 80s, but a bit more lighthearted. Because of course they have to keep that PG rating. But the problem with animated movies I always talked about is that animated movies continue to try to chase this. Oh, you know what? What's, we have to appeal towards everybody because there's a stigma about animated movies that they can't be serious, that they can't have tough storylines, they can't have tough moments. Okay, and Pixar does that sometimes. Okay, like with movies like Up. I haven't really seen Up in like 10 years. That's why I call it overrated. So, and movies like Up where you do have Tough moments, but then of course the rest of the movie like this. Oh my God, bouncy, bouncy, lady hearted, kitty moments. Okay, an anime. We need to have anime movies that can that with frost can be taken seriously. And I said in the past that Western animation should be taking notes from Eastern animation. Okay, anime. But I know people are like, oh, but you just want you. Why do you want Western animation to be like no? I want Western animation to have the same type of stories as Eastern animation. More dark storylines. Storylines that adults can seriously get into. Okay? Like Dragon Ball. Okay. For example. Dragon Ball movies. You know. that's all, Dragon Ball is also about the accent. But. Even like Dragon Ball. Is more darker than the boss baby. Okay. <laughs> Dragon Ball is more darker than the boss baby. Okay. And then you have this movie. Okay, I was like, you gotta be kidding me with this Buzz Lightyear movie. But this actually looks, we compare this to Toy Story. The actual Toy Story movies. Okay, this is Toy Story and this is Lightyear. Okay, the movie looks far different than Toy Story. It looks like they're, again, I don't think the movie's gonna be rated PG-14. They're gonna try to keep it in the PG-14 as much as possible, like Spider-Verse. Okay, because there's a stigma that animated movies can't be PG-14 or R-rated, which is completely stupid, okay? You had, of course, you have your older cartoons like South Park and, you know, 
sausage party, which nobody likes sausage party, but we should have a animated movie that's taken seriously for once in a lifetime. That's why modern animation continues to fail, okay? Yes, we should have your Tom and Zerry's, movies like Tom and Zerry, the old Tom and Zerry cartoons, movies that with a lot of slapstick humor and stuff, which is like the Boss Baby and stuff. Okay, but we should have more serious tones in animated movies. It seems with movies like Spider-Verse and the Mythos vs. the Machines, Mythos vs. the Machines is like Spider-Verse. You have a lot of lighthearted tones and a lot of serious tones. It's a perfect mix of both of them, which is why everybody likes that movie. Okay, except for some people don't like it, but most people, a majority of people like it. Okay. This is why modern animation continues to get criticized. Okay, compare the Mythos vs. Machines versus Hotel Transylvania 4. Okay, the Hotel Transylvania 4 is the same old, same old. That's why I didn't like Hotel Transylvania 4. Because Hotel Transylvania 4 is the same old, same old. Okay, it's the same old, same old that we have been getting from these animation studios. Okay, the same illumination, comedic art style. Okay, comedic type art style. Okay, and yes, anime. Yes, there should be some animated movies that are comedies. Okay, okay. Like I think an animated comedy movie with Sonic it has a would be pretty cool. And you made some comedian play Doctor Eggman. Oh wait, we already got that with the live action movies. So with Jim Carrey, and I don't think anyone could be a better Doctor Robotnik than Jim Carrey. So yeah, other than that, and even then. And this can say it again, even Nintendo, okay, let's look at Nintendo. Nintendo is a company that is also Japanese and also is known as a quote unquote kids company. A kids company, okay. They also make games like Fire Emblem, okay. Okay, Nintendo also makes games like Fire Emblem, which Fire Emblem games are definitely not for kids, okay? They're more serious and more gritty type games. Oh my god, these graphics. Oh my god. Oh. They really put too much effort into the character designs to make the graphics look bad. But Fire Emblem games are not made for kids, okay? Same thing with Metroid. And there is definitely an audience for Metroid and Fire Emblem. That's why Fire Emblem Free Houses and Metroid, I, I think it's Fire Emblem Free Houses is the second best one entry in the series. Because the 3DS game had two entries in the same series. That's why Metroid and Fire Emblem exist. These two game series are made by Nintendo. Okay. Metroid Dread is definitely, definitely not for kids. Okay. Definitely not for kids, especially Metroid Dread. Okay, Metroid Dread is a fucking horror game. Okay, kids are not gonna want to play Metroid Dread. They're gonna play Mario and games that, you know, Nintendo. That's what I mean. Nintendo has games for everybody. Okay, Nintendo has games for everybody. Okay, but the problem with animated movies is they don't have, you know, the Metroids. They don't have the Fire Emblems of animated movies. Japan does. Okay, Japan. Look at Demon Slayer, Mugen Slayer. I've never seen the movie, but I bet. The movie is far more darker than, you know, every Pixar movie ever made, okay? And... And yes... I don't, I don't think the movie even has a way, I don't know if the movie- Yeah, yeah Demon Slayer is fucking rated R! It's fucking rated R! Okay, and it made more money than The Boss Baby 2 worldwide! Okay, so Peony is probably, oh, no one wants an hour animated movie. No one would watch it. Okay, how much money did Demon Slayer Mugen Trade make at the box office? Okay. It made, it made $500 million worldwide, which means it beat out Disney's Santo worldwide. Okay, it beat out, again, it's most of the sales are probably in Japan, but it beat out Disney's Achanto worldwide, 
okay? And people would tell you that no one would want to watch an R-rated animated movie. That nobody would want to watch an R-rated animated movie. And animated movies must be for kids, okay? This movie made $49 million in America on a limited release, selling these companies that people would watch an R-rated animated movie, okay? People would watch an R-rated animated movie. But the problem is, Western companies don't take animation fucking seriously, okay? This movie made the same amount as the Boss Baby sequel, okay? The same amount in America as the Boss Baby sequel. Or actually, it made, actually made significantly less, but <clears throat> the Boss Baby sequel made $57 million domestically, okay? But... I bet the I bet Demon Slayer had a proper release and it was not a free week only release. <coughs> the movie would have ended up beating the Boss Baby domestically, and that would have been the most laughable thing in the history of film. Okay, and the difference between this and the Boss Baby. Okay, this released. When the Delta variant was going around, the COVID pandemic was going around. Okay, this made more. This made just as much money as the fucking Boss Baby in America. Okay, you know, but it seems that animation studios in America are always taking the small steps towards the right direction. Okay, I can't wait till an animation studio that isn't, of course, Wes Anderson's movies actually says, "You know what? Let's make an R-rated animated movie." Let's make an R-rated animated movie that, you know, because there was a double an audience for this because Demon Slayer made nearly $50 million domestically on a limited release, okay? <laughs> it made nearly $50 million. Is. Was. Domestically. And Boss Baby didn't even release when the pandemic was kind of slowing down, okay? And even then, worldwide, of course, the movie made, Boss Baby made less money than Demon Slayer. Again, most of Demon Slayer's gross is Japanese. Gross, because it did so well in Japan. Okay. You know, yeah, Japan, $364 million. But if we exclude Japan, okay, it made $454 million. Which is all ninety million dollars, and this is out from a uh, limited release. Which means it made more money than Spirit Untamed. <coughs> it made more money than I think the I think it made the same amount of money as Anne Family too. And the outrated animated feature needs to be released theoretically, not just served to streaming, which is another problem. There are probably R-rated animated cartoons, but they all get subbed to streaming anyways. Leaving them basically be ignored. Okay. But the problem is, Western companies don't take animation seriously. I've been saying this for a while, that Western... The animation needs to stay, be taken more seriously. For the past three or four years, actually. Okay. Even a company like Nintendo, which people will say will cause a stigma around Nintendo. And Nintendo is dust for kids. Only kids play Nintendo games. Okay. Fire Emblem and Metroid and Xenoblade. Okay. All three IPs are owned by Nintendo. And you're telling me that only kids can play you know, you know, Xenoblade. Oh yeah, both games are... Oh yeah, Xenoblade 1 and 2 are 18. 14. Okay. Fire Emblem is rated T14. Not... Not E. They're not... Fucking weighted E, <laughs> you know, and I, I think Nintendo should make an M weighted Metal game. That would be, actually be a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah, and make it like a grid. Even though Metroid is already gritty without the M weighted, <laughs> without the M rating, Metroid is already pretty scary and gritty without the M rating, Dean, as well. But Nintendo, even Nintendo, makes games that are geared towards older audiences. Okay. Xenoblade, Fire Emblem, and Metroid. 
free IPs that, you know, just proves every Nintendo hater, first of all, that the only one argument, oh, Nintendo's for kids? Kids can't play Nintendo games, only kids play Nintendo games. Yeah, only kids play Xenoblade, yeah, that's completely stupid. But unlike Nintendo, okay, animated movies are not taken seriously, ever, okay? The last time animated movies were taken seriously was... Besides spider Verse was in last decade. Okay? Last decade was like the last time companies actually taken animated movies seriously. Okay? Well, this is why you're seeing the rise of anime. Okay? Because people want to see animated movies. Again, they're all, of course, weaves, but people want to see animated movies and cartoons. Animated TV shows, basically, that are more serious, that are more darker in tone, and are not trying to focus on the comedy, okay? They have serious stories, and are not trying to focus on slapstick humor most of the time, which is some of my earlier criticisms of cartoons, is that cartoons are never serious outside of, you know, DC cartoons, which are the only ones that seem to get it right, but again, they're mostly well get the Blu-ray exclusives. So you guys can't play it anyways. You guys can't watch it unless you buy it on Blu-ray or on HBO Max. Okay? <clears throat> animated movies are not taken seriously. That's the big problem. Okay? Animated movies are considered kids, babies movies. Because animated movies are not taken seriously. Okay? And we have one company to blame for this. Okay? One company of all of them. Illumination. We all know Illumination is the worst animation studio by far. Okay? They made some okay movies and some good movies, and the only real good movie was Despicable Me 1 and 2. Okay? But most of the movies, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Okay? The same fucking things over and over and over again. Pets is okay, Pets 2 is okay. None of the movies are truly great. They're never going to be remembered as classics. And Illuminations, because of how successful the movies are, guess what? Well, now most animated movies are basically just Illumination movies. The only movie, the only other company that really tries is Disney and Pixar. Most of the companies, they say, you know what? You know, they're cheap entertainment anyways. Kids are going to go, kids are going to go to watch these movies, okay? But it's the same old, same old is getting old. It's getting old, okay? The fact that Demon Slayer made so much money on a limited release can, during a pandemic, can all can tell you about modern anime, modern Western animation. Can all can tell you. It seems that right year, it seems to be the right step in the right direction. A movie that is more serious, more serious in tone. It isn't dumbed down to the lowest common denominator for the eighth quadrillionth time. Okay? Yes, I like watching movies like Ice Age. Because I think the Ice Age movies are funny. <clears throat> but Ice Age is different than other animated movies. I don't think we're probably going to get a serious Ice Age movie. Because that's how the brand Ice Age series is. But Pixar is taking a risk and putting a more serious anime movie. I bet the movie will probably still be PG because they're gonna try to keep it, you know, within the brand because Pixar is, you know. But again, <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised that the first company to innovate with a much more experimental, much more serious anime movie, I wouldn't be surprised it would have been Pixar to begin with. With. And maybe one day we might see a PG 14 animated movie and not this same old, same old PG movie. You know, with bright and colorful colors. A movie that adults can enjoy. Okay? A movie like Demon Slayer and Mugen Swain that, yes, is not a kid's movie as it's rated R. Which is the most hilarious thing that it basically made nearly $50 million domestically on a limited release. Release <coughs> practically, basically. And it, can, it really just shows you. That 
movies like The Ant Family and Boss Baby 2 barely outsold Demon Slayer. And those movies were released at like 4,000 plus feeders nationwide. Nationwide. Right. So, I, if this movie does do well, I would expect there to be more. More serious animated movies. Animated movies that will somehow... Uh, it'll kind of, I think this movie will kind of be like Spider-Verse. Verse. But it'll be more serious than Spider-Verse. Right? Yeah, it will be. And it'll kind of be like Spider-Verse... And it'll be more serious than Spider-Verse. Because Spider-Verse is pretty lighthearted. But it seems like this movie is going to sell an act tell an actual serious story. And of course, I think I think the cat guy, the cat robot thing is gonna be like the comedic relief. But even even like super serious movies have some super serious movie series and animes have a comedic relief character. For example, Kill a Kill is, is an anime is pretty serious, but of course there was a comedic relief character named Marco throughout the whole Marco throughout the whole story. So maybe one day we'll get the super serious animated movie that isn't you know trying to go for you know sex jokes and trying to tell a super serious story, kind of like the Joker movie. B, which I think a few I think if we really want to, I think it would be a Warner Bros. animation. Or Pixar would be the first one to make a more serious... I think War Brothers Animated is more like it because Disney's too scared to make an R-rated movie. But I think War Brothers Animated might make Mike Faith the first few echo R-rated animated movie in a while. And R-rated movies have become more popular over the time. Let's look at the movie Joker, okay? The Joker movie came out in 2019. Three years ago already. That's the first... But again... It was the first movie ever, R-rated movie, to pass a billion dollars. Yes, you heard me right. Joker was the first animated, oh, okay, not anime pizza, the first R-rated movie to pass a billion dollars, showing that more mature movies can be, can reach a mass audience. More mature and more darker movies can reach a larger audience. And there's not even PG-14 movies. And there's even right, and, it's, and your movie doesn't even have to have an R rating to have a darker tone. Look at Arita Battle Angel, okay? <laughs> Arita Battle Angel is, you know, a PG-14 movie. But if you compare it to Marvel, yeah, Arita's far more darker than like every other, every fucking Marvel movie in created. Maybe bowing in Fairy War because half the universe got stepped out of existence. But... Arita is a far more darker movie than basically your typical Marvel movie. And guess what? It was based off a Japanese con an manga book. But again, <laughs> Japan, they don't give a shit about trying to appease, you know, the notion of animation is for kids. That cartoony characters are for kids. Because they actually give a shit, and actually the writers in Japan actually give a shit, which is why Demon Slayer made more money <coughs> than every animated movie released in 2020, which is actually true. Demon Slayer made more money than every animated movie released in 2020, which includes Santo, which was a box office failure. Okay. With this movie was a box office disaster. Yes, we have been people like, oh, but Disney Plus saved the movie. No, it still was a box office disaster. Which is probably why Tony Red turned tail to Disney Plus, which is which is probably why it's to do with Santo's failure at the box office. This, this, and Disney not wanting to take a risk with another movie we see in the theaters. And the movie, of course, has 120 to 150 million dollars and made 247 million dollars. Even Sing 2 was also restored during the end of the year, which again is made by Rumination. Dear God. Even then, Sing 2 made less money than Demon Slayer. So, either way you think about it, people are sick of the same thing over and over and over again, okay? People are getting sick of it, okay? You know, you, and again, people are saying that Sing 2 is like a, is like, you know, actually is a pretty good story, a pretty good storyline. 
And, but again, animated movies keep trying to appeal towards kids. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the problem here. And Illumination is, of course, the biggest, biggest one that fall here for the segmentation of animated movies. Okay? So the big, they're, the, they're basically the root of the problem here. Okay? Them and Cartoon Network of T-Tans go. Okay? They're the root of the problem for the segmentation of animated movies. They basically perpetuated it further. Okay? And yeah, I know Disney makes animated movies, but those movies, but Disney movies were intended for everyone. You had, you had jokes that more adult people can get, but jokes that kids could enjoy, but all rumination jokes are, oh, you know what? All jokes are for kids. No adult jokes, no, you know, funny jokes that adults can understand. Which is what makes, you know, older Disney DreamWorks and yes, the older Ice Age movies so much superior to anything they produced except for How to Train a Dragon series and some Pixar and Disney movies. These, and a couple of other movies like The Mitchells vs. Machines, Teens, as well. And movies like Spider Verse is going in the right direction. Why does everybody like Spider Verse? Why does everybody like The Mitchells vs. Machines? Why does nobody like the Boss Baby? Okay, okay, wrong movie. Spider Man No Way Home. I was looking upset. <laughs> Why did they hook up Spider Man No Way Home? Okay, they, the, and again, Spider Man and the Spider Verse and the Mitchells versus the scenes are trying to basically be like the older Disney movies where they can be both enjoyed by kids and adults. Whereas again, it's pretty respectable for them for them doing. But I think the way. Of the future is making PG-14 and R-rated animated movies. Or of course your PG with Disney making PG animated movies. Companies should take more risks with animated movies. Okay. And. <clears throat> animated movies. There should be PG-14 animated movies. PG-14 movies make a lot of money. Okay. So all the, high, all the highest grossing movies of all time. Are rated PG-14. Star Wars The Force Awakens, Infinity War, Endgame, Titanic, Avatar, okay? All those movies are PG-14, okay? And yes, you have some PG movies, Fall and Dale and Hell. I, th I think, I think, Dale and Dale, but most of these movies are PG-14. Again, PG-14 is the most popular, you know, rating currently at the moment. But the fact that animation is still, you know, and I think the other people... Is the media. Yes. The mainstream media. Okay. The mainstream media. We all know who we're talking about. These. Mainstream media. And boomers. Are the other groups of people. Who stigmatize. Animation. More particularly. American. Mainstream media. And western boomers. Because again. In Japan. They don't give a shit. About. Animation stigmatization. Which is why most older people will usually move on, either become an anime, either just watch anime movies. But one usual thing they'll go is they'll start watching anime instead of cartoons. Because anime is more for older people. They're not for kids. I, I don't know why people think anime is for kids. Like, yeah, you have Naruto and Dragon Ball, but watch fucking Attack on Titan, Die in the Fangs, Kill or Kill, Demon Slayer. Jojo Bizarre Avenger, okay? <laughs> All of those anime are for fucking adults, okay? They're for fucking adults! They're not for fucking kids! And some of those animes have fucking nudity in them! Okay? And you're telling me they're for kids? Okay? <clears throat> but that's the problem. The mainstream media, and which are mostly run by boomers, was... And also, it's the same thing of video games are for kids, but MMA video games have basically got rid of that stigma that video games are for kids. Like, you're gonna tell me that GTA is for fucking kids? No, they're not! Okay? And, you know, I think the last stigma that needs to be broken is animation. Okay? That's why studios refuse to make an R-rated or PG-14 animation. Because they think 
that the only way animated movies can make money is be is they have to make the movie appeal towards kids. They have to make the movies appeal towards kids and younger audiences. Not adults, even though most of them are gonna be the ones going to see the movies because most of the move money most of the people who make money are adults. Okay, with the exception of teens who work like part time jobs. Most of the people who have jobs and have and have jobs are adults. Legal adults. They're the ones who are going to be watching the movies. Yes, adults or kids will probably bring in the kids, kids to watch the movie, but the people who will be deciding who will be watching the movies will be adults. Okay? I just don't understand why these stupid companies and amazing media can't get this with a fucking thick heads! Okay? They just can't get it through the thick heads! Okay? Animation is not just for kids. There can be PG-14 and R-rated animated movies. And Demon Slayer proved that people will go watch R-rated animated movies. Okay? Okay? And PG-14 animated movies, which is a step worse. Lower than R-rated movies. But it seems like movies like White Yell, White Yell is going to be a much more serious movie. Besides the rant about Hollywood, because this movie was a semi went about Hollywood and talking about White Yell, and it's basically like that. So, that's basically about the 40 minute video. If you made it through this whole video, well, good job. Maybe subscribe to this channel in the long run, and you might see more of these types of videos. Goodbye.